Gunpowder was transported in round lead canisters. When the Lewis and Clark expedition left St. Louis in the spring of 1804, they carried 176 pounds of gunpowder and 52 lead canisters, much like these. The canisters were the idea of Meriwether Lewis. Corked and sealed, the powder stayed secure and dry. And even if these lead containers were dropped, fell into water, or perhaps buried in an underground cache, the powder stayed dry. Lead has a fairly low melting temperature. Heat it up in a cauldron, it liquefies, and can be poured into bullet molds. In seconds, the lead hardens into a bullet and usually pops right out. You don't pick it up yet, though, it's still pretty hot. Once cool, the bullets have to be trimmed and smoothed before they can be fired from either a rifle or a musket. A small bump of lead from the molded shot, called a sprue, is snipped off and thrown back into the melting pot. The shot is then worn smooth by rolling together in a heavy buckskin pouch. They brought different molds for the different caliber weapons they carried. In addition, Captain Lewis noted 420 pounds of sheet lead in the supply list at the start of the exploration, all for making bullets. The Corps of Discovery was self-sufficient and prepared to live off the land and defend themselves as they made their way west. Making ammunition and keeping your powder dry was part of being prepared. Mm -hmm.